Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Talked a little bit about it last night when we talked Nate Clifton transferring to USC. We wanted to take a deeper dive into Matt Enns, the North Dakota State head coach, heading over to USC to coach the linebackers. And what has to excite you the most is two things that probably jump out to me the most is one, this shows that Lincoln Riley is serious about getting this defense right heading into the Big Ten. And this was not in a cheap hire by any means. You're hiring a guy who's a head coach at North Dakota State that's probably going to have multiple job opportunities, whether it's at the group of five or power five level to be a head coach soon. And then more importantly, you take a look at Matt Entz and what he's done with this North Dakota State program in terms of implementing physicality and culture into that program and having on-field success. I mean, two-time FCS National Championship head coach, two-time coach of the year during his 10 year at the FCS level, you're getting a good coach that's going to bring physicality and culture to this USC defense, the two things that USC fans are pleading for the most. And we personnel is important, right? And we're going to talk about all the transfer portal guys that come into USC and are going to be reshaping and retooling this defense. What I think we missed last year is coaching is just as important, right? This USC defense, it had talent. Right, you look from the from the start from that defensive line all the way to the back end. I mean, Damani Jackson, former five star, Tacky Curtis was an All Big Twelve linebacker. You look up front, a ton of blue chip talent on that defensive line, and it just didn't come together. And you looked at that USC defense and the failings. It wasn't because there was a lack of talent. It was because there was a lack of development and just quite honestly, bad coaching on the USC defensive side of the football. And that is changing with the hire of Dan Lynn with the hire of Matt Enns for USC fans. You have to be really excited. Before we get into Matt Enns, talk a little bit about his background and then what he's going to bring to USC. Just want to say thank you to you guys. Uh, the amount of support USC fans have shown over the last couple months, It's I can't thank you guys enough. I mean, all the fight-ons in the comment section, this is a program that I've absolutely loved talking about, and it, partially because of the support you all show. It's absolutely amazing. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And more importantly, it's going to be a busy next couple of weeks for the USC Trojans. I'm going to be doing my best to keep you guys as updated as possible with all the roster moves in the transfer portal. And without further ado, let's get into Matt Ents. And let's start with Matt Ents and his background. And you just got to start with this guy's a good football coach, right? Two-time FCS National Championship head coach two-time FCS coach of the year. He's had a, a laundry list of accolades as a defensive coordinator at North Dakota State as well. And what I want to highlight is the success North Dakota State head coaches have had jumping up from the FCS level to the Power Five or Group of Five level. Going back to the head coach that Chris uh, that Matt Entz just took over for, Chris Kleiman, the head coach at Kansas State who is one of the up-and-coming head coaches at the Power Five level. And then before that, it was Craig Bull who took the job at Wyoming and has been the most successful head coach Wyoming has seen in program history. North Dakota State has a long track record of producing really good head coaches, and Matt Entz is just in that lineage. And you take a look at him coming to just coach the linebackers at USC. You have to be thrilled about what that's going to look like from a development standpoint, but more importantly, from a culture of the defense standpoint. I think it, this is signs that Lincoln Riley. I mean, when you go and hire a former head coach, Lincoln Riley, I think, is giving up the reins a little bit and saying, hey, I'm going to trust Dan Lynn, and I'm going to trust Matt Entz to get this defense right, and I'm going to worry about the offense and getting the quarterbacks right. And that's where USC is most successful, right? Towards the back half of that year, Lincoln Riley was spending a lot more time with Alex Grinch in the defense, and you saw the offense uh, kind of get into some ruts as well. I think this USC program and how it's going to have the most success is, yes, Lincoln Riley is going to focus on the offensive side of the football. That's why you hire him to be a head coach. He's one of, if not the best in the game, at scheming up an offense and developing quarterbacks. And then you hiring a guy like Matt Entz who has head coaching experience, has a defensive coordinator, ton of defensive coordinating experience, you're kind of giving up the reins and saying, yeah, I'm going to trust Matt Entz. I'm going to trust Dan Lynn to get this defense right and I'm going to focus on the offense. I think that is vital for the success of this USC team. And Matt Entz, again, proven track record, absolutely amazing. You look at Matt Entz and what he did with this North Dakota State defense just in 2023. I mean, only 89 rushing yards allowed per game. This North Dakota State team, and I, 
Side note here, I have a little bit of experience watching some FCS football during that COVID year. FCS moved their season to the spring, and so with no other football on, I was watching a lot of FCS football, watching a lot of North Dakota State football. And if there's one thing you are talking about when you're talking North Dakota State is the physicality of the defense. They only allowed 89 rushing yards per game in 2023 under Matt Entz as a head coach. You bring in Dan Lynn, who at USC only allowed – or UCLA, I should say, only allowed 67 yards per game of rushing, you know this front seven is going to get better. But most importantly, it's the development. Again, going back, Mason Cobb, Tacky Curtis, they look lost at times at that linebacker position. You expect that to get cleaned up. And, man, I'll say this right now. We've we've been hard on Tacky Curtis this year as a true freshman just – I don't know if you would say he didn't live up to expectations because he was a true freshman, but definitely did not maximize his capability. Tacky Curtis, one is the one thing we always said is that this dude's going to be good. If he gets developed right, I mean, the physicality, the size, the athleticism, the speed, it is all there for Tacky Curtis. You put Matt Entz coaching him and you get the most out of Tacky Curtis. I don't think you're just looking at an all Big Ten linebacker. I think you're potentially looking at an all American linebacker, but he's got to get that development. And Matt Entz, certainly going to bring that. Now, the one question I saw a lot of USC fans have on Twitter and on some of the message boards was, what's it look like recruiting? I mean, Matt Entz is a guy that has spent his whole career in the state of Iowa, in the state of North Dakota. How is he going to go out West and recruit some of those guys in the state of California and out on the West Coast? What I would say is, one, I don't really think it matters. I think at this point, USC is for USC is going to recruit itself. It is one of the premier college football programs in all of the country. And now moving to the Big Ten and even bigger stage, their talent is going to come to USC. What USC, and I think Lincoln Riley realizes, we don't need to focus on recruiting as much as development. And Matt Entz is a career coach that has shown that he knows how to develop these players. So for recruiting, I think USC is going to be just fine recruiting. I'm more focused on the development and the schematics of this defense. And Matt Entz, a proven defensive coordinator and head coach, is certainly going to improve that during my time as an FCS college football fan. In that one spring, I, there is not a coach that I had more respect for than this North Dakota State program, than Matt Entz. I think this is a massive hire. You went out and hired a two-time FCS national championship head coach, two-time FCS coach of the year to come and coach the linebackers. You couldn't ask for any more than that. I, I, I wouldn't even, I didn't even know Matt Entz was a target, but this is a massive hire for USC that I don't think should fly under the radar. Wanted to hop on, talk about Matt Entz, the two things you're getting, the recap though, physicality, culture, Matt Entz, bringing it to USC. Again, appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. If you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel and we'll talk to you all later. Peace.